Oh, hey, Greg. How long have you been here? This is how we hang out every night. We just sort of hang out in the semi-circle and talk <laughs> yeah. about crafts. Like we have a political show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? Sure. Sure. Uh, there is too much of everything. It's a song by a Belgian artist. Uh, you go to Starbucks and there's seven kinds of coffee. It's so overwhelming, you can't make up your mind. You, you get stressed out uh, just to make a choice. Or there is a new smartphone. Uh, it's a little bit bigger or smaller, but definitely thinner than the previous one. Uh, but all you really wanted is that the battery would last longer. I think when you go back to basics, only get the things you really need in life. It causes less stress, less efforts. Because do you really need uh, that new phone? Do you really need those seven kinds of coffee? Um, the only thing I really want more in life is time. Uh, I'd say there's too much of everything, things we don't need, but there is no assurance that our money is worth just as much time. If you could start all over again, would you settle for less? Holy shit. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, they're just little tiny distractions distracting us from the right things to do and the right things to think about and consider and they just take time in our day and and ultimately they give us tiny shots of you know and, and dopamine make us happy for a moment but we're really meant to be considering other things I, but I'm an old person so I think that's the, the right answer for me go ahead kids what do you think <laughs> I think that was a good synonym, synonym for our record label. Oh, all right, nice say way. Yeah, smooth. <laughs> no, because I mean, like, because you're right about that. Like, just like sometimes, you just you, you, there's all these new things you can do, and uh, all these technologies available. But sometimes, just like uh, somebody like you know, you tell them, you put him with a guitar. Something really beautiful can happen with just those two things. And that's kind Thank of, you, man. Kind of, I think it applies for each one of them. Well, yeah. Especially the It's all about you guys. But she was talking about cell phones. Right. Which, if and you could find a bigger battery, that'd be great. <laughs> the battery thing is so true, though I think Apple released those computers a little while ago where they figured out a way to make the frame, you know, of the computer. It's all a battery now. It's supposed to last solar power. A long, long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that uh, the casing for the computer is the battery okay. now. And they've been a, it's some kind of turning point. But I'm with you on that because they're big, they're small, they're big, they're small. Like, as soon as somebody gets bored, like, my new phone <laughs> is so huge. And I still want a bigger one. There's a euphemism in there somewhere, yeah. sorry. It's for like it creates a heap of anxiety. Over yeah. things that you, you, comp you end up compensating yeah. so much. But I also hate the choice thing too. I'm so with this guy. I want to hear this song really badly now. Can it be playing in the background? <laughs> um, you know, the, the thing when you walk in, there's too many choices. Yeah. It's like when you go to a deli in, in Los Angeles or New York, you know, and those menus that are like five pages and you open them up like a good old Jewish deli. Yeah. You know, like, and it's like, dude, all I want is some salmon and a bagel. You know what I mean? And there's like 5,000 sandwiches. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I just had it now downstairs. I was like, what am I going to get? Oh, yeah, yeah. They said people are happier with less choices. True. Mm -hmm. Plus it was in, in Flemish, so yeah. that, that was tough. That is also true. Or yeah. Belgium, right? This is Belgium. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just make that clear. Speaking of which, can you try one of those chocolates? Yeah, man. First question, 15 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, or no, or or At this pace, we'll this be done by the time down. we show up. <laughs> Those booze in those things? Yeah. I'll take four. Yeah. <laughs> Pops. Actually, if somebody wants to split one, I feel like my stomach is splitting. Jesus. Are you guys as full as I am? Thank you. I'm sorry. We just <laughs> hijacked your interview again. Oh, wait, yeah. These are beautiful. Thank you. What are we going to do here? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Are we going to break some teeth? No, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> How did you get the courage uh, to live with insecurity? Um, it takes a lot of guts to say, I'm, I'm just going to quit my job, uh, going to get on the road and play my music. I, I guess you just uh, reach a point where you're just fed up with, with what you're doing and you don't really know why. 
so you start obsessing over it for that was my case and then mm -hmm. he started I started obsessing over it I'm like why am I not happy I'm, I'm I'm making cool money from playing bass for this thing and I live in a decent area next to the beach and everything like nicely set up and I could just go on forever but that's kind of boring right like once you know uh, you're at a place in life where it's kind of like a straight line to who knows so I always like to break that line I like mm -hmm. to all right time to start over again that that's my story I rolling stone gathers new moss i never wanted to do anything but this i mean honestly like i, I like other lines of work like it or medicine and stuff but it, it's easy to you know if you have an opportunity like to to go on a, a, a european tour or something like that or and actually you know get out and get yourself in front of people that you never would otherwise I don't see it. It, it. it was never like a risk for me. It was just like, yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah, my life is full of insecurities. <laughs> but I hated what I was doing. So it was like writing music was like a coping mechanism. And then I was, I was enjoying it. And I just thought, wait, if I took out what made me anxious and what made me sad, it doesn't need to be a coping mechanism. It can just be something I enjoy. It's not something I don't like playing really. I love playing to people, but I don't. Like the attention, like I feel quite comfortable right now. Oh, yeah. but, um, I just music is is my catharsism. Okay. Maybe you could answer everything. No, yeah, yeah. I like to speak to all of it. Yeah, but that's cool. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. talking about the banter on stage. Wow. We'll just give you a microphone and go behind the curtain. You've heard me on stage. You don't say much, but I like that. It's what you say sweet. is always very. Yeah, that's true. It's very. You good. speak when it's important. Point. To the point. Yeah. She's very. She articulates it as well. She's our favorite, like university. Yeah. Well, she's got a vagina. <laughs> How long have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> How long have you known each other? Uh, well, I for me, I met Yoan personally earlier this year. I flew to San Diego to play a show with him mm -hmm. randomly. I met Laura on this tour, but we, we thought we were going to do a previous tour together, so we've been kind of we Facebook friends for like a year. Yeah. I met Joey, what, two years ago now? Yes, is it? Isn't that bad? That's crazy. It doesn't seem long. 2013. Oh, it I'm seems here. like, that's why I said six months ago, but I think it was more like a year ago. It was like a year and a half. Yeah, a little more here. Mm. Wow. If you could uh, describe each other in one word, what word would you choose? Amazing. No, each other. <laughs> <laughs> Together. Who wants to go first? Oh, like if I had to, if I had to describe Joey. Yeah. You can each say one word about Joey. What would you say? Lord. Well, I know about Laura. I just say she's a poet. I have a feeling that poet. she's very okay. like, you know. She's like the poet. That's what I would say. I need two words. I think one word is sort of impossible unless it's okay. hyphenated. I mean, if it were all four of us, I'd say Strike Force. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Not make a power. Uh, power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, quiet poet. Gentle poet. Uh, artist. <laughs> we're all just going to describe Laura, because she's Sorry, the The rest of us, the words are sort of... <laughs> describe Walt. Yeah. Uh, God, Walt Hammer, let me think about this. Insanely funny. Yeah. American. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Great comedies. I think there's some kind of word for, I would say pure. Pure. Wow. That's it. In your time? Oh no. <laughs> um, <laughs> mysterious. Um, Enigmatic. I'm trying to think of all the synonyms. Effortless. <laughs> For weird. <laughs> Effortless. No, 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 no. Effortless is a great word. Effortless, because yeah. when he's up there, I see him every night, and I know it's going to be good, and yet every time I hear it, it still gives me the chills, like that first song. Like, God, it's good. Like, so and he chilly just, dog. Chilly. Chilly dog. Yeah. Thanks. Um, Thank you. No, I, 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 I've got the idea of what it is. Um, I think it's um, so many words. <laughs> trying to find a word. Keep talking. I'll, I got it. Did you go? Because that other stuff was a joke, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. but catchy. 
I'll catch you. I'm not thinking about music so much. I'm trying to think about you guys person? as people, yeah. I'll catch you as a person. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're hungry. Oh, oh, hungry. Yeah, hungry. hungry is my word. I'm changing it. It's always hungry. You know, I, I, I feel like uh, it's, what's a word for like, he knows what he wants. Persistent? No, because it's not ambition that I'm talking about. It's not that. Decisive. Content, content, maybe? Is that the word? That sounds like yourself. I can't say true because it sounds too much like. He's pure. Pure, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to say about Joey? Uh -oh. Here we go. Mm. Go ahead. How do I say this without. How do you say this about your boss? I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to give him a little privacy for this <laughs> as, far as, uh, as far as Joey as a songwriter, I would say he's uh, one of the, for me at least, and I'm talking for many more, one of the best and most influential of our generation. He, and not only in the, like, the punk world, because I think Joey, yeah, you could hear this. Joey for me is up there, you know, with Elliot Smith and all these, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I've listened to the lag wagon or Joey's solo stuff any less than I listen to that. So that for me is like, you know, this amazing dude is taking me on tour. So now, that's as far as the songwriter goes. As far as the person goes. Uh oh. Oh, just okay. Thought you guys were done. By the way, I heard everything you guys said. I'm taking all the records off. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. yours because we haven't made it yet. So be careful. All right, I got something for Joey. I'd say ageless. Ageless. Yeah, I, I, every time I'm around Joey, I feel that he doesn't really have an age. You could tell me his age. I'm like... Very immature. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out, yeah. I'm hanging out with like a 24-year-old dude and we're talking nonsense and we're doing music together. And he's like so, uh, so devoted. Yeah, there's too many words already. I'm almost sure. Really Peter failing. Peter yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. There's a like, paragraph you wanted one short <laughs> essay. We can send you ten pages. One word. One essay. All right, you guys go. I'll stop. Uh, my turn. Your turn. <laughs> Wait, he's the only one who's gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> I, I, I have one. I think. I, I would say as a, I guess one word, mentor. Uh, he's he's um, brought me into a different, for lack of a better term, level of performing and stuff and. Uh, I do think that one quote that you've given, that said about you is that, um, you know, if you work with Joey, you become a better at whatever you're doing, if you listen to what he has to say. And like, when I made my record, I had some songs that were brand new, and I had some songs that were like 12 years old. This and is everything got better. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, anyway. No. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we edit the last part out? Thanks, man. That's, you guys are real sweet. That's very nice. Yeah, no pressure, Laura. Oh, do I? I'm just, yeah. I thought I wanted to. Sorry. <coughs> you have to go. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Insanely funny. <laughs> I want to say, like, inspiring, challenging. I don't know. Potentially prolific, creative. There's just, I don't know. Being around Joy makes you want to do more. Take that, like, yeah. it's kind of step up where you're like, oh man, this is, I think this is as far as this can go. Not necessarily in a song, but with reading and like uh, conversing, everything, you, you just expansive, like, just let. Are you Christ? Yeah, just, just the ability to, to be able to think, I can think more than I can already, or I can do more than I can already. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good. Yes, so I'm going to cry. So expensive. I like that. <laughs> I wish I could explain. <laughs> Life long. Upward, you know. <laughs> but inches, centimeters. Platforms. Inches. So that was, what, a six-second question that you took us 25 minutes to answer? <laughs> <laughs> and just, I just have one more question. So yeah, yes, I no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry, Colin. Are you hungry? Are you guys drunk? <laughs> really? What's more? <laughs> Do you like chocolate? Have you ever had uh, second thoughts about giving people so much information, personal information through your uh, lyrics, music, uh, even your album layouts? Oh, <laughs> talking about the album layouts. Every night, at every show, after every show. Yeah, yeah 
Joe's favorite superhero is the Punisher. <laughs> mm. That's a great question. These are really great questions. Great. She's smart. That was uh, Tash. Tash. Tash came up with that question. She's really, yeah. she's really smart too. <laughs> I know her. I had dinner with her tonight. Oh. I don't know if she's coming back. She's sort yeah. of... Yeah, you know, I know. Um, should I go first? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it, you think about it all the time because, you know, uh, there's there's a responsibility that you don't think about when you're writing something because as she pointed out, there's some catharsis to these things and, you know, so you, it's a natural thing to try to find your truth and try to get the closest place you can get to, you know, this sort of purity that, that you want to have and you you want to believe the things that you say and you want to feel strongly about them or strongly enough that they mean something years later because they're much easier to sing over and over again if you have to um, but there's there is some danger in sharing so much of yourself with people that you don't know because some people i think especially after a few drinks and yeah, they can decide that they know you better than they know you and so they feel like like they've been friends with you for a long time through your music and sometimes they want that requited you know like they want the response to that and i think that that's where it gets a little weird Awkward. sometimes yeah because yeah. Mm. you can't you don't know them. and also because you've released these things about your life and yourself and the things that have happened and, and your feelings about these things, that doesn't mean that you want to share other personal details. Yeah. Those are meant for family and close mm -hmm. friends, you know, people that you love and trust. So that's that's a little bit of a dynamic that uh, I want to kill myself. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, wait. <laughs> she turned the camera off. That's not funny. <laughs> Some people do do that. That's really not funny. Your turn. Oh shit! I burn the bridge. Yeah. Uh, when when I normally write, uh, if there's a, such a thing as normally write, I don't. I I never really thought about those terms. I just think that I have to be as honest and as as I possibly can, because uh, do like Joey said, you're gonna keep on singing it uh, every night and for years. But for me, I gotta. I'm at a point where I I really have to relate to to like every word I'm singing or it's just. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, uh, devote myself to it anymore. So I sing a lot of personal shit that I'm guessing other people wouldn't sing about. Like I have this new song called Adulthood and it's about like my inner issues with myself as like, you know, growing up, but I'm still like holding on to this like uh, inner kid that just, you know, has a problem. It's like, like this conf inner conflict that I'm, it's just like. I, I don't have a problem saying it, but it's like kind of fucking me up, you know, it's like, uh, but I, I am a, a songwriter and this is what I do, so that's, that's my take on the whole subject. <laughs> Peter Brown problems. Can you relate to those yeah, experiences? I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I mean, I've wrote, wrote, I've written about some really personal stuff about my marriage uh, that, that kind of collapsed and some of that stuff. Uh, it's actually really, it's, it's, it's helpful when I, when I see later maybe that someone can relate to that. That's always really cool when somebody says, you know, I listen to this song and, um, you know, I almost lost my wife or my husband and now, you know, we're back together and so the Believe in We song, or, you know, it's, uh, that, that, that really, they really relate to that. They're like, you're have an anniversary we're going to play that or it's been our first dance or something but then at the same time there's also like when i was doing this and had a, like a real job there were times when uh i kind of was like i wish i didn't have to share both parts of these life together um and then there's always my dad who is like do you really want to say that word when you can say fart instead or something like that <laughs> so there's there's like there's that little angle of it that maybe is a little different uh, from the true travelers like these guys but uh, oh you're a traveler too man I suppose. but I don't know yeah, sometimes but overall I, I think sometimes it's good to read like if it's a painful memory or uh, something that I wrote about that at the time I needed to write about it whether or not it was gonna be for a song just so I could get through it sometimes it, it actually feels good to re-feel those things I feel like it makes me human again um, so sometimes it's my own self that I'm 
dealing with, with those kind of lyrics. And, and it, it, all in all, I would say I would not go back and change any of them, but sometimes you get like, kind of wish I didn't have to think about that. You should play that song tonight. I think I'm going to. It's a good venue for that. Yeah. Believe in me. It's a great song. I don't think I realized how much I overshare until um, my family were in a room uh, on this tour. And um, I did, like, I, I put a lot of everything, like, all my songs are written in first person, pretty much. And it is, I can tell you a story, and it's pretty much the same as what the lyrics would be. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I hadn't realized until I was singing Apologies, Apologies. And my cousin came up and apologized for not being there for me. And, uh, wow. and I was like, nice. oh shit, like, I said, I, and if you kind of recognize what has happened, but it, I enjoy the distance that I've put between myself now singing it and at the time when I wrote it or was reflecting upon that mm -hmm. point. So I, I don't mind too much because I'm not in that space or time or that mental capacity currently. Mm -hmm. So. I quite enjoy sharing it because I'm like, hey, that's cool because I can step away from it. Yeah. It's not quite where I am, but it's where I was. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the storytelling aspect of it, so I don't, I don't mind too much. But Me either. It's, I should. I feel like qualifying the whole thing with the other side of the coin, which is that there's a positive element to all this things that they said for sure, but also, you know. Uh, People identifying over some kind of universal language like music is a pretty great thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that should be used as a tool to make the world a much better place. I mean, who doesn't have a song that helps shape their childhood or, yeah. you know, like exactly. somebody else wrote that song about something that's not what happened here, but at the same time, it's like something that got you. Yeah, it's like a, it is a universal tribal thing. There's not many universal tribes, that's for sure. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? Do you have uh, hopes and dreams, anything you want to realize? Because I hear you wanted to open a bar in San Francisco. Oh, I don't want to. I just want to do anything but this. <laughs> and I had a friend offer to kind of bank me for it, you know, back me financially to open a bar in San Francisco. It's actually a really bad idea. In any city like San Francisco that's, you know, sort of established and built out and, and, and uh, there are thousands of bars. It's like restaurants and bars are, like, I mean, New York City, I think they say is sort of a joke, it's a 100% failure rate, rate. Because even if they're successful for a year, then they have to do it again and again mm -hmm. and again because you got to keep going. And it's not... It's, I don't think they're the kind of businesses that, that establish like a foundation the way maybe a musician can or a songwriter can, you know, you can have a history with people. Restaurants, it's, it's, there's too many and it's just, uh, so I don't know, but uh, I would like to stay home, I like alcohol, <laughs> those things seem pretty appealing <laughs> and I don't have the, mon the money to do it, so... But I don't know, you'd lose, I, what, what if you lose someone's money, you know, that too. It just, yeah, I mean, it'd be cool. I, I know how to have a really, I, I have some good ideas for a good bar. <laughs> I've been to a few. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you convince me, I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> being home, I like to kind of mix when I'm home, I miss the road, and you know, so if you just do both. Good. Yeah, I'd like to continue doing what I'm doing and uh, evolving and changing as an artist and just uh, as a person and seeing, I guess, where it gets me. I guess that uh, any level of success, either it, it'll come or not come, For as far as I'm concerned, it's like just a, another bonus to, to what you're doing, because I'm as far as I'm concerned, as a person, I succeeded because I'm just 
happy doing this and I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy doing tours with Joey. I'm happy sleeping in the car and playing in front of five people. I'm happy playing. You know, you're at, you reach that point, I think, and after a while, they, you're just like, just happy waking up and doing this. So whatever comes my way, bring it on. We're a pretty happy touring group right now. Should catch us after like a really bad show and we'll give you better answers. <laughs> we're all getting along really well. Like we're just, we're all looking out for each other. Like we're very optimistic right now. <laughs> uh, I have one more question, Joey. Uh, it is said you somehow have a have a connection with uh, Josh Brolin and Diane Lane. Mm -hmm. Were you also an actor at one point in your life? Goonies. I'm acting now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I grew up with him when we were kids. When I was a child, we used to hang out. Um, he was one of my better friends. Yeah. Oh, that's a story. <laughs> I don't really, uh, I, I think I, I just was really drunk and I, I feel like I said something in an interview that I shouldn't have said. Oh, fuck, I don't remember which one now. It's Walt Hammer's fault, he was there. The Marvel one? I would say so. No, it wasn't that one. That one, like, uh, it was different. It was the, um, the, uh, oh, what's that guy's name? Damien from Fucked Up he has a podcast. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and we just got along so well. Like, I just feel like that guy could be my best friend. I think we spoke for, like, three hours. Yeah. And he was like, at the end of it, he was like, we got to do another part. And I was like, I agree, because it was just all we talked about. We just shared a lot of passions, you know, things like collect that we collect and all these things, and, and I didn't know them, you know. Um, but at some point, uh, Josh Brown in an interview said that he was a founding member of a band called RKO, which I was a founding member of. Everyone in my band was an RKO. Everyone. Um, and the only original member of RKO that's still alive, really, I mean, if you count me, but I was in the band for like two weeks, so I don't even count me, is Chris Rest, who's one of our guitar players. Anyway, he was in an interview doing a junket thing, you know, for a movie, uh, and he was in an interview with uh, Benicio Del Toro or something, and they were, I don't know what this film is that they had coming out, but uh, uh, they were talking about it, and they asked him about punk rock, and he said, well, I used to rock, and I was in the punk rock. He started this band called RKO. And, you know, I think what he didn't realize is that people fact-check things. So you gotta be careful if you're gonna lie to millions of people. And someone did, it wasn't anybody from our community because we have no connection to that community, you know? Um, so I spoke a little bit about that in the, the interview, and it, it isn't true. I think he reneged and came back and said something like to the effect that he he was in the band for a little while or something, and that's what he meant. And then they figured out that that was also not true. And then I think he came back and said, um, "Well, I, I just hung out with the guys," which is true. <laughs> but you know, he's I think he's got it going pretty good. I don't. I don't Really, I guess I don't fully understand why someone would make something like that up when they're as successful as him in the medium mm -hmm. that they work in. Just odd. I haven't seen him in like 25 years, 30 years. It's been a long time. I mean, he made Goonies and it was like, Josh, where'd you go? It really was like that. I mean, I think he just kind of got all consumed by acting and he kind of left our little town, you know. And it wasn't sad. I didn't like him. I'm so glad I'm in this interview just sitting here. Yeah, here I go again, saying too much. But I'll never see him again, so I don't care. Is there anything else here? Oh, no. That's it? Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect way yeah. to end it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say, well, was there anything yeah, else? Josh Rollins behind that door. Oh, God. Come on in, Jerry. Well, if I ever do see him and I keep talking like this, he'd probably pick the night like me. Yeah, so uh, this was a fun interview. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, positive notes here. We've got to end on one. Um, go get Laura's record. 
really good. Yeah, Walt's record is really good. I think you should get my record. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we'll be back next week. I'd say it's, I, I, it's exciting that we're in Belgium today. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, this gig's going to be a trip. These theater ones. It made me nervous. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful, and it sounds so good in there, like too good. You know what I mean? <laughs> too good for us. You, you can hear like every little thing, like a little imperfection. You just go, oh, that. That's like a sold out show. Oh, yeah. It's a big theater. And we should get drunk. I mean, we're definitely going to practice. We'll practice. We'll practice. Should we practice? Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's all we got. I don't know. Thanks Thank you. Thank you for this lovely chat. Bye. Everybody. Thanks, you. <laughs> nice questions, buddy. <laughs>